Control of this kind of ring pure interface typically doesn't take much learning, at least for simple movements like controlling a cursor in two dimensions on a computer screen. Control of a complex, high degree of freedom robotic arm is another story. But for this case, the control of the 2D cursor is relatively straightforward, and you can see that because the subject can make straight, simple, relatively fast movements to any target that they want to hit. But if you want to study the limits of learnability, you don't have to hook it up in a straightforward, intuitive way. Instead, you can do something crazy, like scramble the relationship between the neurons and the movements. Now, as soon as you do that, the subject will lose the ability to control the cursor. And so, when he intends to hit certain targets, the cursor may go in the wrong direction or may just drift off in a random direction. And the question is, can the subject learn to reconfigure their neural activity, to regain control of the cursor through this arbitrarily scrambled mapping? That's the learnability question in a nutshell. We've given the subject something that they have to understand, a new device that they have to conceptualize reconfigure their thinking and reorganize their neural activity in order to gain control. If they're able to do this in a relatively short time span, say an hour, we would call that mapping learning. 